Hi guys, I'm here again with another video. Um, so as you know, my channel is about things related to upcoming engineers or people who want to go into the engineering program or things related to all that. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about um, my final year experience in chemical engineering. As you know, I told you guys in my previous video that I'm in my final year. And I'm doing, I'm studying engineering um, in Canada, chemical engineering to be precise. And recently, I got married. Okay, not married. I call it engaged because I'm not, I haven't graduated yet. I'm graduating in, this is March, I'm graduating in June. But then in Canada, there's a process, there's a um, ceremony where they give you a ring if you're an engineer. When you graduate from the program, they give you a ring. So since we're graduating, we've already had our ceremony. And it was so much fun. I'm gonna put some pictures here showing you like how the day went with my friends. It was beautiful. And it was just touching in the sense that, you know, this is a day you celebrate with all your friends. So you guys have been in this program for five years and you guys got to like, you got like a memoir of like the whole experience by getting this ring, right? So this is my ring. Yes. Tricky. Yes, so this is the ring. This is how it looks like. It's kind of like, um, Mine is already rough because I wear it all the time. It's a, it's like um, it's a, as you can see, it has like um, some kind of uh, details on it. It's like I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know how to describe it, but this is how it looks like. And you're supposed to wear it on your right hand on and on your pinky finger of your right hand. So that's why I'm wearing it here. And it's really cool because you walk around town and you walk around, you know. Canada and people know you're an engineer, right? So people treat you with some level of respect. Like my friend was saying how she went into um, the bus the next day or like some days after and she was wearing the ring and like the bus driver actually recognized her and was like, oh, hello, ma'am. Like, how are you doing? And like other people have said how they've noticed some form of respect or some people nodding at them with like, you know, oh, wow, good day, you know, good day. Like people treat you a bit differently, which is kind of exciting and like funny. But like that's also... Yes, it's all, that's just how it is in Canada, right? And what else happened? Oh, also my capstone project. We call it plan design in my school, but I know it's called capstone in most schools. It's like the final year project where you have to, it's like a, it's for two semesters, so it's a year-long project. You have to design a plant or design something. You have to design a plant. We were designing a petrochemical plant. When I say designing, I'm talking from scratch, picking out raw materials, the cost of the raw materials, picking out a plant location, designing the plant, picking out, um, like understanding your process, doing your research to know what type of, of, of equipment you need to produce this process. You size those um, equipment down from like distillation columns to reactors, to absorption columns, flash drums, pumps, you size everything by yourself and you also like um what else you also have to do the economic analysis so you have to check out how much your raw materials are going to cost how much your equipment are going to cost cost of the land cost of maintenance cost of like revenue um annuity like so many different things it's work i tell you you also have to do process controls on all the equipment which is like an automated system to make sure that if Maybe, for example, if your reactor is at a very high temperature, just to avoid, like, you know, avoid the reactor blowing up. So you have to do controls on, you know, equipment like that, like the reactors, like the flash drums. It's so really detailed, and we had to do it. Like, I don't ever understand how they thought we had that much experience after four years to do that kind of project. But then that's what everyone does, right? So that was fun. That was kind of fun, right? And yeah, so we just finished our portion of it. Um, we handed in the report last week, but presentations for the report start this week and they go on for three weeks. So it's for the next three Mondays, it was going to be presentations, just presentations of like all the capstone projects, right? And things that you don't know when you're going to be called. So it's like a, it's like a balance, like a, what now? It's like a hat system. You just put, they put their hands in the hat and they pick out the number and it's like, oh, you're going today. And you have to be ready that day to present. We were preparing like crazy. My group and I, we're like an all girls group. So we're very like, you know, you know how girls are. We're very, you know. 
So we were preparing every day and we kept on speaking it into the universe. We were like, we're going first on the first day, first on the first day. I told my mom, mom prayed for us. We're going first on the first day. My friend told her mom too. And it was so funny how the universe worked. But we went first on the first day, which was just this Monday. We went first on the first day. Because we were so, you know, the energy was still up from us, like, um, practicing and practicing and practicing. We killed it. So it was very good. And, like, we spoke to the profs after, and they had good things to say. And it was just a really nice way to end the, the project, right? So people still have their presentations going, but we don't. Yeah. And uh, what else is happening? So I still have final exams for other courses. Final exams for other courses coming up. And yeah, that's how my last semester has been. It's more so mostly good vibes because like everyone is kind of like in that you know everyone is kind of sad in a way. People don't really show it, but you can tell like they're gonna miss like being in the program and being around the same people that they've been around for like four years or three years or however long you know. So it's kind of emotional in a way, and yeah. So, like I said, on this channel, I want it to be very interactive. I'm looking forward to questions. I'm looking forward to suggestions. But I want it to be very engineering-based, you know. I don't see much people on YouTube who come and talk about um, engineering, the program, how it's going to be, their experience. I mean, I see doctors who come and give it their life story. Or, like, who come and give their daily, like, life, daily, like, life in the, what's it called? life of a doctor they show you around like you know they show it but i never really see it for engineers in a very interactive manner i only see like um like you know professors who come and drop lectures on youtube and things like that so i want this to be a very interactive forum so i can help people out right it's to make things i learned by myself that i wish someone had told me before i came into the program and i just want to help people out i want people to not be able to make that mistakes those mistakes I made, you know, I want to also give, um, you know, some motivation to you guys because it's not a very easy program to be in. It's difficult. In my first year, I didn't even think I was going to make it to my final year. I, I left room for failure, which is kind of sad, but I did. I was just like, and I, cause I was very, I was very art oriented. I, was, I knew math. I knew a lot of math. So that's why I went into engineering, but I was also very art oriented and it was also very dominating. So I was like, do I really belong in like engineering? Am I supposed to be doing something art related? And I questioned myself throughout my first year. I was really scared, blah, blah, blah. But like over the years, I became more confident in my choice in being in this program. And I just want you guys to understand that there'll be doubts in the beginning, but you just need to push on and be assured that you know you'll reach the finish line and you'll achieve what you want to achieve you put your mind to it it's a lot of work but if you put your mind to it you can definitely achieve it so yeah <laughs> i think that should be the end of this rant slash vlog no it's not a vlog it's a video I think this should be the end of it so i don't ramble too much and it's not too lengthy because i know you guys don't like to watch long videos so, looking forward to hearing from you guys. Leave comments in the comments. Leave comments in the comments section. Like this video. Just tell me. Be inter let's be interactive. Tell me what you want to see on this, um, on this on my channel. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks. Bye.